it's beyond our abilities. We're too small to be able to understand these things. So just like trying to understand the universe, it's it's too big. Okay. We talk, break it down to parts and we get to understand it a little bit, a little bit, little bit. But to say that God has created us from beginning, like a biblical or the Quranic or the Torah version, or even Zoroastrianism, which is the Iranian, or Hindu sense, I mean, I think these are just ideas. They're good stories, and it gets people together because they believe in something, but to me, it's not real. Yeah. For sure, take on it. Okay. Why did God create you? I don't know. No one knows that. Did the God who created you tell you? Sorry? Because you believe in a God. Yeah. Whichever way Some you conceive, God, whichever, God. Yeah, whichever yeah. way you conceive that uh, being, did that God tell you why he created you? No. God doesn't talk to me. Okay. So God created all of this and yet he doesn't tell you why he created it's you. It's a possibility he has, he may not, you know, but I'm just open-minded. Um, mm -hmm. It's a possibility he may have created all this, but I'm just open-minded, so I'm not... So this yeah. I know you're all around here. you, this yeah. all around you, yeah. it's possible that it wasn't created by anyone? It's possible, yes, yeah. Okay, so if that's the case, it was always there? Possibly. Or was it always not there? We don't know the answers, do we? What, what are your critical thoughts about it? Critical thoughts, you exist, you live. No, the, about the cosmos, don't. about the cosmos, the reality well, of the cosmos. What is the reality? We, we try to make sense of who we are in this part of the cosmos, as a massive cosmos. But in sense of knowing why we created, again, it's an idea, isn't it? We're trying to satisfy our inner need, our fears, our insecurities, of the fact that we exist, we're conscious, and then one day this consciousness might become to an end, and then what then? So based on that, people come up with ideas to try to avoid that. Okay. So let's start with whether this has, this this universe or this reality has always been there or not. We don't know that, do we? Okay. Yeah. How can we know? Do we have well, the we tools? Can't. We can do mathematical models. Okay. We can do physics. Yes, we can make theories, postulate theories, but they are theories at the end of the day. Okay. Just, yeah. Okay. So, if I tell you that... I mean, sorry, that... I, sh I should correct myself. Some theories are more kind of a profound in sense of they do have a... some kind of a... Um, kind of a... they proved that uh, they are built on good foundations. There are mathematical bases behind it, but still, yeah, it's a theory. Okay. Can you conceive of a time, in inverted quotes, of course, in the past, where it's possible there was absolute nothingness and non-existence. Possibly, yes. Yeah. Okay. All things are possible. Fine. Yeah. If such was a scenario, a possibility, mm -hmm. can anything arise from it? Can something come out of nothingness? Can something arise from non-existence? Again, this is a, a debate about physics, and I don't know much about physics. I'm not the expert. Well, use the tools but that you have. Sorry? Use the tools that you have and you possess. The tools we have is that I'm alive, I exist. Yeah. All right. I'm conscious. I know what my world is around me. But that doesn't necessarily give me all the answers. It can't give anybody all the answers. So you have to use the appropriate tools then. Because yeah. if we know what we mean by non-existence and nothingness, it's simply the absence of everything. Absence of all existence, that's what we mean. Yeah. Absence of energy and time and yeah. space and quanta and quantum fluctuations. Absence of a thing, that's no thing, that's nothing. So if there was conceptually something like nothingness, yeah. this nothingness doesn't have any qualities or any properties that it can actually bring about the existence of anything. Are we talking about Big Bang Theory here? No, of course not. Right, okay. We're talking about something and nothing. Right. So, we know what something is, yeah. in some way, shape or form. This, this conversation can go on infinitely? No. Yep. It's not. It can. It can. We can wrap it up in a few minutes. You can so, wrap it up through the Islamic point of view. I, I, I'm not giving an Islamic point no, of view. No, I'm giving you a, a point of view of critical thinking. Let's wrap it up then. Right. Critical thinking. Mm. We know what something is. Mm. Matter, space, time. Yeah. Right. This is something. The nothingness is absence of all of that. If you have a state where it's absolute nothingness, which is non-existence, no physics, 
no theory in science can help you to say you can get something out of it. Well, then... It will, nothing will result from nothingness. If assume what you're saying is to be true. No, no, I'm, not, I'm giving yeah. you a scenario. Yeah. Suppose we had a model of our universe in which there was absolutely nothing to begin with, yeah. right? At one point. Mm. Remember, this is in, inverted coins. Right. Come on, You okay, brother? Suppose at one point, yeah. there was absolutely nothingness, which is non-existence. Mm. The question now is for us to understand and explain whether it is possible or probable that existence can come from non-existence. Sorry, what's your name again? Mansoor. Mansoor. Sorry, Mansoor, but we can't have this conversation because this will go on forever. Why? Because you can prove one thing or the other. We can create mathematical models to create, you know, prove something or not. Um, Are you a mathematician? I'm not, no. Right. Um, so use but, whatever you've got yeah. and tell me, is it possible to get existence arising from non-existence? Well, it depends on which viewpoint you're looking at. Yeah? Sorry? It depends on the viewpoint you're looking at. What so viewpoint? What, what is your... Use any viewpoint. Okay. We're, we're supposed to be talking about religion here, not about physics. Reality. I'm not going to confine yeah. my answers to the reality from only one particular angle of biology. No, yeah. I'm not going to limit myself because okay. when we want so, to learn about something, yeah. do you agree, Wade, yeah. that we have to li have all avenues of knowledge open, epistemology right. in which Absolutely. every avenue yeah. of acquiring knowledge. Yeah. Use that and tell me, is it conceivable right. that we can get existence arising from non-existence? My views aside, I want to hear about your views. No, no, I'm going to yeah. establish that by... I'm, I'm not here to debate. I'm it's not debating. It's not debating. Well, it seems that Be way. Remember, yeah. remember you said about you believe in something and you, believe, you said the universe may not have been created. So I'm yeah. just trying to understand but your so foundation. Let's wrap this up. I want to know your thoughts about Islam and why you... It will follow it. only when we know these foundational principles. You're forcing me to answer a question. It's not forcing. It's it not forcing. You know, yeah. look, if, if I said any sane individual... If any I say I don't know, you need to move on. No, it's not why you don't know. You do know. I don't. I you don't. do. No, you do. do. Okay. So, so you now, know me better than I know myself. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, let's understand something. Mm. To get something, yeah. okay, to begin something, to create something, to originate something, yep. you need, that we know from our model of physics mm -hmm. and science, you need energy. Yeah. You need something. Well, you need something to make something because we're only transforming the energy from one to the other, one form to the other. Whether energy converts into a mass, mass converts into energy, and so on. Well, you're right. You have to have the agency yeah. and the material, whatever that is, space, time, quanta. Mm. You need that. You cannot have non-existence and use that to make existence. It simply doesn't follow. Okay. I am going to make this assertion right. based on our reality, right. the tools that we have. The tools that you, you, have. You, yep. You, yep. you do know, mm. in my humble understanding, yep. that is the case. Okay. But you don't want to commit to that because that will then force you to a particular understanding of reality, which you are not comfortable with, no, perhaps. That's not true. That's okay. Not true. So now tell me then, okay. is it possible to conceive existence arising from non-existence? Why are you asking me that question? I'm not because the expert here. But the answer is quite simple. What is your answer? Yeah, the question, what, answer to my question is, is simple. Answer? It's not my answer, it's what no, your no, answer no. I'm interested in. The question I ask. I think you're reversing the tables here, um, and you're trying to put me in a situation where I'm forced to give you an answer. So it's not about forced to. It's not about forced to. It's being, it's being critically, it. critically honest about it. All I want to know, Mansur, forget that all side physics. Why are you, why are you uncomfortable in answering this question? I'm not an expert in physics. It's not an expert. I'm not an expert in physics either. Let's, let's park it. Let's move on. No. Why are you limit to physics only? Do you understand common sense? No. <laughs> Now you're insulting me. No, no. No, now you're insulting it's, me. I apologize. It's not insulting. Yeah. You have common sense. You have intuition. I, you have critical thinking. The apparatus is already there. Look, I'm not uh, Einstein or you don't have to be. Stephen Hawking. You don't have to be. Those, you know, outside the universe. Brother, yeah. it's okay, it's okay. Look, so you don't have to all be. All I'm asking you, Monsieur, with respect, is why you're Muslim and why do you believe okay. in... You want to shift the conversation because you are uncomfortable. That's the, no, I'm because, not uncomfortable. Because Again, you're, you're saying, using words as though... So why don't we let's talk about it? Let's, let's talk I, about whether existence can come out of non-existence. Because you know why all the atheists, course, with all due respect, I'm not wait. Just atheists. No, no, all the atheists, with due respect, no, when we, we ask you're this question, debate which you and I both clearly don't have answers to. You do have answers to. We don't. That's why you assume we have answers. Okay. Why is it difficult not, to answer that question? Because we don't know the knowledge. We don't have the knowledge. We're not experts. So you so need to have me, knowledge let about. Let me ask you a simple question. You've got a problem with your heart, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
heart. Now, I can stand here and talk to you the problems about your heart, but I'm not the expert. Okay. But I might be able to postulate some theories, make you fanciful, come around with these clever words, have a little understanding of how the cardiovascular system works, and say you've got a problem with your heart, this is the reason. But I'm not the expert. I can debate here all day with another guy who's similar thinking like me, or we can both debate or have a conversation. Okay. But we are not cardiovascular surgeons or specialists. That's not our thing. Okay. So my... We are doing the same thing here. Sure. We are not physicists. Are we talking about specialist field? Physics is specialist field. Yeah. No. Yeah. My question, yeah. is it linked with a specialist field? Well, physics? No. Can non-existence give rise to existence you don't need to be an expert in physics or in can, biology it probably can How you don't need to be an expert yeah, it probably can because probably we've can. already conceptualized what nothingness is yeah. existence is and yeah. what non existence is right. you don't need to have a phd to somehow answer that question Even phds don't they just do a small but i'm just telling you you don't need to have phd because the answer the answer yeah. is within the question itself. Non-existence doesn't have anything to give rise to existence, so it cannot. And so, with due respect, we cannot answer that question. Okay, I, I, think, I, I think we cannot move on. because we can't. Uh, No, no, I don't want to move on, okay. because if you feel that this, this question is difficult to answer. You want me to say an answer? I know, I tell you no, no, you, I don't want to say anything forced. You want to hear from me. Yes. No, 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 no. I, want you to, I want you to critically answer that question. Let me, let me finish. I think your angle is for you to make me answer a question that is not the, my question. The way you feel. No, no. You I'm not forcing you to answer. That out of nothingness, could something come out of it? And if I said no, then, or something to that effect, then you would have asserted the fact that religion is true. Or of course God not. Of course not. Then what of course is not. Of then course not. Is yeah, let's move we, on then. No, we are establishing the foundational principles. All right, let me assume. First of all. Let me assume. I'll go with your answer, just for... We can't assume anything. We have to agree well, critically. Everything's assumed. No. Yeah. <laughs> The whole world is based on something. Do I assume you, your, your existence or do I know you exist? No, not, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about physics and I'm sort of... I'm not theories, talking about physics. You right? see, I'm talking uh, about wait, religion. Wait, religion sorry. is also assumption, right? Wait, I am not okay. only talking about physics. Whatever you're talking about, I know you're talking, talking Why about limit to physics? Feed. You can't... Why limit to physics? We, we, Why limit to physics? Why limit to physics? I'm not limited to physics. Right, so yeah. let's not talk about physics, or chemistry or biology or botany, whatever. The question yeah. is not difficult. Look, look at my statements within the question. Mm. Can non-existence give rise to existence? What is difficult in the question, it's not about the language, about can and give rise, and conceptually, existence and non-existence, they're not difficult to comprehend, is it? Are you saying non-existence, I am very difficult, finding it difficult to comprehend? Existence, I'm finding it difficult to comprehend, then I can clarify what they are. From your point of view, yes? No, from a point of view where that you will be happy. No, I don't need that point of view. I now, how can I discuss if you're not happy with something? We have to have I a common ground. Know. I want to, I came here to learn about Islam. But we're I will tell you once yeah. this f foundational framework right, is established. I'm you're right. Let's it's not about right. assumption. Yeah. No, it is. no, no. It's not about yeah. assumption. Yeah. Because this foundational so if principle. If I'm, a, if I'm a human being, right? And I have a question about Islam. Is this how you approach people? No. no. Because we started by laying down the foundation. Mm. You, you said. I remember correctly, this universe may not have been created, could have been always there, and whatever, no, no, right? That's what you said. I agreed with it to a certain extent, but that's what you said. You didn't say exist, you said it's possible, no. yes. it was not created. You, you came up with the idea, and I said yes, it's a possibility. I did not. You were not forced that. to answer. It's recorded. You were not forced to answer, yeah. you agreed. No, I said it's possible. Right. Yeah. If it's possible that yeah. it was not created, yeah. or it was always there, not always there, and then I asked you, is it possible that there was non existence before? You said yes. That is where now we need to foundationally answer that because once you say that it is possible there was non-existence at one point, then if, unless we clarify that point, yeah. none of what I say okay. will be helpful and fruitful. Okay, so when, when the Prophet Muhammad was preaching Islam... No, no, we are talking about different... No, this is what I'm trying to ask you, but you just went on to a completely different subject. If I tell you now, Islam yeah. is true because the Quran says so, would you accept it? Why would you say Quran is true though? Because the Quran says so, do you accept it? But it's a book. So now, yeah. remember, now you're going to critically ask, what is it that the Quran has that makes it from God? You don't even know what God is. So how am I going to even prove to you? I don't think anyone knows what God is. That's why we need yeah. to know what God is then, but first of all. How do you know all. the Quran is a true God? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. It is not really going to be helpful demonstrating to you the Quran is from our God yeah. when you don't even know that God exists or not. 
that's beyond the point. That's not the point. point. That's absolutely relevant to the point. You, you are you are thinking Quran is the ultimate word, but where's the evidence other than the existence? Look, look. Yeah? If we were to tell you with proof and evidence yeah. the Quran is from God, you will say, but God doesn't exist. It could no, be a figment I'm of your imagination. A very simple question. Okay. Where's the evidence? Do you do you, do you understand my point? Yeah. Firstly, we need to establish whether God exists or not. We do not do it. Hmm? We quite really do. No, we need to establish that yeah. by critical thinking. Say, assume it does exist, but then would it... Would it would Wait, it then, yeah. why do you keep assuming things for sake of argument? Because you're not really that's engaging... Not, that's you're, not, you're not really engaging in a critical discussion. Yeah. Yeah. You're simply engaging with a flaw. By, and, and, and later on you will say, oh, but that was only an assumption. I don't believe in it. Yeah. It will be a waste of time. We need to go by baby steps, by foundational principles yeah. that we agree, 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 disagree, disagree, agree, agree, eventually, and then we come to an agreement. Okay, I admire you for your holding your faith as you are. It's a rational yeah. faith. Well, there's different views. Um, but oh, I'm establishing establish that from the very beginning. I'm asking you critical questions. I'm challenging you on, on your particular premises of your Sorry, reality. You yeah, you sure? Yeah, because I can say that. What's the question? Can existence arise from non-existence? No one. It's a yeah, remember data, data protection, right? Yeah. No, I mean... Yeah, so yeah. this is why I am not really willing to go and say, oh, the Quran is the word of God because of these scientific miracles, right. people say, or because of this literary uh, miracle, or because of these prophecies, or because of this information that is unknown. All of this will be irrelevant because you will say, but there is no God, perhaps. So how can that be from God? Well, that's so, where the religion is supposed to assert itself. So that's why we need to establish whether God exists or not. And what is God to begin with? And what is religion to begin with? Yeah. Do we need religion to, to okay. live a good life? So that's why I ask you. Yeah. Religion, religion is simply the dictates of God, how to conduct your life, what you hear, the reasons. But what makes you think that's a dictation from God? Okay, if God tells you. Well, how do you know that? God okay. doesn't talk to anyone, do they? How do you know he doesn't? Otherwise, well, we have we have we have people we have people who God spoke to and they said which God spoke people? to us so prophets and messengers yeah, they, they died 2,000 years ago but they left their evidence behind what evidence it's right. not real evidence what constitutes evidence to you well it's a book story it's a story. Know, wait yeah. what constitutes evidence to you solid that's proved like what yeah. well it's not evidence just because the book exists Right. Correct. Yeah. So what constitutes evidence? Well, if somehow magically God appears in the sky or something. How do you know it was God? Yeah, yeah. Now, how would you know it was God and not, not, not a mass delusion? Well, what is your point? No, you ask for evidence. I want to see whether you're ready for evidence. So what well, constitutes evidence? Well, just, no, no, that's, that's a really kind of a... I can't give you evidence you when you're not ready for it. Evidence. But that's for not evidence, is it? No, no, no you're asking asked. for evidence. Yeah. Before no. I give you evidence, I need to know whether you are have capable... Have you read Harry Potter? May have, yeah. Yeah. No, some people believe that's religion, mm -hmm. right? Or Scientology. Okay. People will be convicted, convinced, like yourself, that it is true word, it's true, true and it's, uh, it's actually the real purpose, the real mission. Okay. That's your purpose of life. Now, you would say a certain religion is lost in its way. Other religions are lost in their ways. It's slightly right, it's slightly wrong. But you would say your religion is perfect, but everything is almost the same. So from somebody else's point of view... That's not... No, let me finish, please. So if I was a Hindu, oh, from my point of view, I am right, because that's what I believe in, that's what I've been conditioned to believe in. That's my behavior, that's my childhood, that's my parents, that's my community. So when you come to me as a Muslim and tell me I'm wrong as a Hindu, I would find that as an offensive thing. Same as your point of view. You're a Muslim, you're born in a Muslim family, you're raised as a Muslim, I'm assuming. Um, and that your background is pretty much Islamic, your community is Islamic, so you are convinced that your religion is the, the mighty one. So we can sit here or stand here all day debating it, but nothing's going to be solved. And no one's gonna end up having You miss one crucial point though. What's the crucial point? In the crucial point of critical discussion, the evidence. That's why I'm asking you, what constitutes What's evidence? What's the evidence of Prophet Muhammad being a Prophet Muhammad? The, very good question. Very good question. Now, I'm only gonna dip No no No, let me let me finish. Finish. I'm only gonna have a chat with you if these cameras are off. Camera and if your recording is off, because I, I don't want uh, Let's yeah, stop yeah. the cameras.